What if we could pinpoint the spread of cancer earlier and take some of the uncertainty out of diagnosis and treatment? That's the goal of Massachusetts General Hospital researchers Ralph Weisleder and Mukesh Harisangani. They are targeting the body's lymph nodes. Many cancers spread to lymph nodes first, but we don't currently have very good ways of seeing if small tumors have begun to grow in them. Dr. Weisleder designed tiny nanoparticles made of iron oxide and coated with dextrin, a sugar-like substance. This coating causes the nanoparticles to be taken up by normal cells in the lymph nodes, but not by any cancer cells that may have taken root there. A magnetic resonance imaging machine reveals the difference. The researchers hope their new technique will improve cancer diagnosis and lead to earlier and more effective treatments. When tumors are first diagnosed, the first key question for the treating oncologist is whether this primary tumor has already shed its cells to distance locations within the body. The only criterion we've had for determining whether a lymph node is involved is by the size of the lymph node. In other words, if anything is small, we tend to ignore it and call it something that is normal. Whereas if something is bigger or enlarged, then we tend to call it tumor. That doesn't sound very precise, and it's not very precise, but it's the best we've been able to do. In order to get a more precise diagnosis, doctors would need to find a way to see inside the lymph nodes. So Dr. Weisleder set out to design special iron oxide nanoparticles that could be used to enhance MRI images. So the, the particles in these bottles are the nanoparticles. They are small in size. They are essentially rust particles. That's why they are called you know, iron oxide or nanoparticles. These nanoparticles come as a powder form. Uh, and what we do essentially is mix them with fluid. And this is how they look like once they are in solution. And then we take the amount that is required to be injected based on the patient's weight and then inject these particles. Once the patient comes in, they would get an MRI without the nanoparticles. And then uh, after the initial MR, they would be injected with the nanoparticles and would have to return 24 hours later. Uh, at that point, they would get scanned again. And at this point, if the lymph nodes are normal, then they would take up the nanoparticles and turn dark or become black. Whereas if uh, they are filled with cancer, they would not take up the nanoparticles and stay bright. In one of the largest prostate cancer trials, we imaged over 80 patients and systematically analyzed over 350 individual lymph nodes. And what we observed was stunning. We had a sensitivity or accuracy for detection of lymph node metastasis well over 90%, which was really unprecedented. So it was a very exciting thing to sort of be able to pick out these small little areas of tumor infiltration, which beforehand was not practically possible with what we have available. If the nanoparticle technique is widely approved, it'll make a profound difference in the way uh, physicians make clinical decisions and will make those decisions more exact and I believe of tremendous benefit to patients. Okay, Dr. Kaufman, so this patient with prostate cancer that you refer to us for nanoparticle exam, on the pre-contrast study, you can see that there is an enlarged node in the pelvis. And if you look at the size, it's about one centimeter by 2.3 centimeters. So by size, you know, it is malignant, uh, uh, and, and it, it should be considered suspicious for tumor. But interestingly, after we gave the nanoparticles, you can see that the node has turned homogeneously dark which is a sign that the node is actually normal and benign, rather than it being malignant. We can now say that this is a normal lymph node, despite the fact that it's enlarged, and that changes the management completely in a much more favorable way for the patient. 